yeah hi everyone so here we are going to continue with this enterprise structure here yes let's get into that so already we have all the details to uh, construct this uh, enterprise structure here already we have just done the uh, data right so we want to go with that data and as per the data we want to create that okay let's do that okay so let's get into this enterprise structure here okay click on this enterprise structure okay and go for the definition yes here where we are going for okay just click on this definition part and there you can see okay n number of modules here so we need to go for the sales and distribution because we have our own folder so we just want to go to the uh, sales and distribution okay part over here okay yes get to that so just click on this particular arrow again and here you have the combination so what are the things we have here so actually how many elements we have here so actually we have so let's have this one okay how many elements we have here for an example let's have this one okay so it is one and this is two and this is three and this is four and this is five and this is six okay totally six right so six we have right so we need to check the same six over there or not so sales distribution one okay distribution channel two okay so office three and group four okay only four we have so actually we should have six right yes as per our structure okay whether the our structure is wrong no our structure is right but still we are having only four options over here so what happened to the remaining two yes what is the remaining two is missing first we need to find that okay so what are the remaining two is missing is one is sales area and one is division okay these two things are actually missing right yes why the sales area is missing is okay if you want to understand you want to know this particular structure here okay if you want to know why the sales area is missing the sales area is not an element okay sales area is not an element okay it's a combination of these three you can see that is why it is put it in the dotted line you can see it is a combination of these three things okay it is a combination of these three things if this three combination is exist okay then only the sales area can exist so it is not an individual element where you can able to create in the definition so where this will come the sales area will come as this will come on the assignment okay so this will come on the assignment part okay because it's a combination of these three right which will be coming on the assignment part right okay so this one is clear then what is the next one okay so next one the division okay division is included in this right then how it can be missed from this particular structure why because the division is a, is not a core part of sales okay so we are just making that division as a product division right product is common the product is common the product can be used by production the product can be used by the mm product can be used by sales so everyone can able to use that so that cannot so i cannot able to take it as my own responsibility so i'll just make it that as a common so how that common thing will be available is always the common thing will be available in the logistics you can see logistics general if you get into the logistics general there you can see an option called division you can see there is a division so it's a common thing okay so division is a common thing so the common thing will be available always in the logistics okay same like you can see the plant okay the plant is also is available over here you can see the plant is also available over here in the logistics here actually the plant okay normally we know the plant is belongs to metal management but still it is not available in the metal management if you see in the metal management the plant will not be available okay because it's a common thing it is available in the plant so we can take it from there and we can configure nothing wrong in that but still you want to know why it is there okay so now we got this one okay so these all the four okay so uh, channel we have okay so we don't need to have it for the sales area sales area we will be doing in the assignment part okay so and also division we have over here okay so as per the sequence we can go for it okay so what is the sequence we have so as per the sequence we can able to go on and we can do this one okay so let's do that okay so what is the data we have let me go with that data okay so this is our data okay let's follow with this data here okay so we don't want to get confused the first thing i want to create one organization you can create n number of organization if you have one plant one organization if you have two plant two organization if you have three plant three organization okay so you can have that one that's not a problem just an example i just given one organization 
okay because i just stick with that particular flow chart so with that we are going that one, okay so one organization we are planning for that. okay so let's go for that that organization name is tata sales organization we need to create that okay so let's get into that so here you have an option you can see define sales organization you have an option over here so click on this particular execution okay let's click on this execute yeah so there you can see okay it's a very self-explanatory option okay there is nothing to worry over here you can see define sales organization okay just double click on this okay define sales organization there you can able to see okay so we have some options here okay this is the organization okay so don't worry about all these things okay you can see a lot of things are over here don't worry about that okay so in the live project if you go for the live project and live system the <coughs> sorry so for the live implementation you can able to see only this element you can see only one so because sap will give some samples okay because you should not get confused with that so the sap will give some samples over here so only this one sample will be available there will not be anything over here so everything will be a clean slate okay so this is a practice server here so that is why you can able to see a lot of things over here don't get confused you just focus on this one okay always the thing starts with zero zero one okay it will be always a sample okay so now you can see okay so how to configure this i need to create one sales organization called tata sales organization right so how do i create this one okay so for that what i need to do so i need to understand this options first okay first i need to understand this options first then only i can do the rest of the things okay so let's go for that the first thing you can able to see the new entry new entry is nothing but if you are going to create a new okay so organization here so you can able to create over here okay so you can able to create over here so if you have a new organization for an example i go with a new entry click on the new entry so it will give me a fresh page where i can create a sales organization here okay where i have to give everything as a new you can see completely it was new so i want to fill all the informations over here then only it will allow me to see one thing this is a new entry option the same thing you have very smart option one option is available which is called as okay so go for this particular copy as option okay so copy as option okay go for copy as option what is the copy as option will do is for an example just click on this particular copy as option click on that okay click on this copy as option here okay so it will copy the existing one you can see it will copy the existing one so this will give you the clear idea it will give you the clear picture okay what are the information we need to give it over here you will get an idea if you go for the new entry what are the things you have so you have an empty slate here so you have to find okay sometime you will forget okay what to give here what to give here what to give here so whether you need to give four digit here or two digit here or three digit you will you will just forget right so sometimes so due to the pressure okay so that time you will be losing the time okay every time is very valuable in the configuration we are losing the time if you go for the copiers option also we have a sample structure over here so this is super easy for us okay just just make this particular setup and just you can modify this you can just you can just modify your own number and you can modify your own name and all those things so it is super easy this is the smartest way to approach this particular setup here okay so this is the option two and okay you can see the other options okay you can able to delete if you've done something wrong you can delete and you can undo the process if you've done something wrong and you can able to select all okay select the block okay and you can deselect okay all these things and also you have an option for giving your address i told you right the sales organization is also equal to a plant because okay from where the sales is happening so you need to give the from address right you need to give a from address where the material is going to dispatch okay so we need to give an address also here okay so now what we are going to do so we are going to use this copy as option this is the best option here so i will suggest to go with the copy as where you will save lot of time and you will be more comfortable on that you will not get confused on any point you will not miss any important field also okay so you have a sample here you can have a sample it is very ready made it's available so what you need to do just go with this particular copy as okay just click on this copy as option okay so there you can see the entire things are came here 
so that you can give anything so it is nothing like you you can give only the uh, numbers here okay you can give the alphabets also okay whatever you want you can give it here maybe i'll just put the same thing maybe i'm putting a tata okay so the tata okay there is no name is there okay fine so tata i'm just giving a name codification as a tata and here i am giving okay so tata okay sales organization i'm just giving like that okay so here it is asking for a currency so i can give a currency over here so what is the currency i can give here so maybe i am using the currency as inr so if you want to use euros or usd whatever so you can able to go with that okay and you can make this all things or default don't worry about this thing if you want to remove this also you can remove that okay this is not a problem here this is not going to be impacting anywhere okay so after giving that just give an enter so it will automatically take you to the address area because that is main thing because from where the product is actually is going to dispatch okay just give an enter so okay enter and that you can see automatically it is popping up the address here because the sales organization it's not a physical entity but still it is holds the plan okay from where that the sales is happening means we need some from address so we are taking the same plant address what is the plant address we are giving the same plant address okay so it's like a normal kyc okay how you fill the uh, bank details in the bank right so same like the kyc of a customer sorry for a, our company here Okay, so give that one. So the company, and I'll put the name here. So what is the name? So it is Tata. Okay, so okay, so group of companies. Okay, so then you can put the search term. Okay, if you want to put some search term here, you can put some. I'll put okay, so Tata here. Okay, for easy searching, I don't need to give a full name here. I just put Tata, so automatically it will be searched up. So I can use that. and i can put other things so what is the door number okay i'll put the door number over here okay yes then i'll put here okay so maybe i'll put okay so tata street okay maybe i'll put uh, okay the uh, pin code here okay maybe i'll put so the pin code okay so then i will put the city so maybe i'll put uh, okay so jamshedpur okay so where we have tata skills now so maybe i'll just put the same thing okay so i'll put the country as in in for india so you have all the countries over here in the drop down which is pretty default in the system okay don't want to worry about that all the things will be in pretty default here so you can just select it from there which country you want okay so i'm just going with india here and you can go with a region okay what is the region you want you can go with any region you want you can go with that okay so maybe i'm just going with some region like okay maybe i'm just going with uh, uh, chandigarh or something whatever whatever you want you can go for it okay then you can give the other things okay what are the po box you want so you can put the postal code here okay and the languages you have here so all the languages you have here okay you have all the languages what are the languages you want okay so what language you you speak you can put that one or else put english as a common and other details like phone number email id if you have any specific for the company you can put it over or else just leave it okay so don't want to make it more complicated okay so just if you have anything specific you can put that so both don't put it for any name sake okay yeah once it is done just give this tick mark okay it's copy just click on that so it will automatically creates the sales organization you can see that okay this is automatically created okay once it is created what we need to do okay you can see it was created and what we need to do you want to give a save here okay you can use this save or you can use control s okay both will be working here so if i save this what happen you can see if i save this see automatically i am getting a transport request number what is this transport request number okay so the transport request okay why we are saying this transport request number is for an example in the gui right in the gui we have seen okay so we want to uh, do our trial and errors in the development server okay once we do in the trial and error in the development server okay so we will be uh, moving the data to the quality server for testing for the uat and all these things right we have discussed so for that okay so every time for an example i am now just doing in the development server okay so after that i just want to move to the quality will i just want to repeat that all the configuration there no so i just move this one okay whatever the configuration i do so that i will record everything okay i will capture everything in this request number 
So whenever I want to move to another server, the same thing. So this request number can be moved. So all my data will be get moved. Okay, so when you are using this for the first time, okay, when you are using this for the first time, you will be getting an empty space over here. So that time what we need to do, so you have to click on this, okay, create request here. Okay, click on this create request and you will be getting a page like this. Okay, you will be getting a page like this here. Okay, so there what we need to do, so we want to give the thing, okay, what is actually you are doing. So maybe we are doing the enterprise structure, right? So I'll put, okay, so enterprise structure, okay, enterprise structure for, okay, data groups. So I'll put like that. So whatever you do, you just put like that. So that is easy. So when the technical guy is moving this particular from one server to another server, so this description will give a, okay, right direction. Okay, just give a save here. You can see a save option. Save it over here. You will get the request number and this thing here. So you don't want to do it repeatedly. So based on the project manager or project guidance, you can do some some uh, project manager. They will say that okay. So throughout throughout the cycle, you can make one tr only one tr. You can capture all these things. Okay, that is fine. Some people will say that no no. So for enterprise structure, one one set, you want to do one uh, request. And for the next thing, one set, one thing. Okay, next thing, one thing. So they have a partition on that. So based on the project manager or project instructions, you can able to do it on that. Okay, but for the testing case, okay, if you are going for the testing, just you are going to do the testing. You just create for one time and just leave it. Okay, so don't want to create that again and again. So just give okay, continue. Yes, now you can see actually now only actually the data was saving because in the configuration the TR plays a major role because it will capture the data then only it will allow you to save the data. Now you can see the data was saved. Okay, so again you want to create one more organization you can just make a copy of the same thing and you can just make copy because now you have an understanding about that. Now you got an understanding about that. Right? Yes. Now the organization is created. So our first target is completed. Okay. This one is completed over here. So you can see this one is completed. So always just mark it in your document always. Okay. That will be a good practice. So you will not forget anything and you will just have a target. Okay. Yes. Now the next target is we need to go for the distribution channel. We need to create three distribution channels here. Okay. It is not like very complicated like a sales organization. Okay. It is very simple to create. Okay, let's go for it. So let's go for the distribution channel here. Okay, I'll go back. Okay, go back. And here you have a provision called the distribution channel here. Okay, you have a provision called distribution channel here. So just execute here. Okay, you have an execution button. Wherever you see this execution, just click on that. So execute button. Yes, there you can see define distribution channel. Everything it will be very self explanatory. So don't want to worry about that. So just double click on this distribution channel and there you can able to see. So some set of distribution channels are available. Okay, you don't worry about that because this is the test server. You will have all these things. Okay, so here you can see. Okay, first you need to find out. Okay, any unique code is available because the system will take only the unique codes. Okay, so if you repeat the code again, for an example, already the 30 is there. If you are trying to put again the 30, it will not take. Okay, so let me find that. So anything is in T is available. We can use the T. Okay, already T1, T2, everything they are used. Okay, so maybe. Mm, okay, so we can go for the TA, TA, TB, TC. Like that we can go for it. Okay, right. Or else we can use the X series, okay, that will be better, okay, X1, X2, X3, that is easy to remember. So we can go with the number, okay. So in the live project, you won't have this issue because you don't have anything on the screen. It will be completely a uh, clean slate, okay. You can put any number you want, it will take. But in this, okay, it's a practice server, there already the some set of data are available. So now let me go for a new entry. Now I know this one, okay. So now I know this one, okay, I can go with the new entry then I can create all these things. So actually we need to create three uh, distribution channels. I'll create all these three in one shot. Okay, so how to create I can say, okay, so you can see the distribution channel already we have seen the, so maximum two codes, right? We have seen that maximum two codes. So let's find this, okay, so two codes over here. So what we can be able to do is, 
let's go for this only okay so i'll put x1 here as the first code i think it is not there then i'll go for second code as x2 and third code as x3 okay so i have three codes okay i'm just putting three codes over here x1 x2 and x3 here okay x1 x2 and x3 you have three codes over here okay then you can put the name over here okay you can put the name over here okay so what is the name of this particular setup over here is for an example so what is the name we have already uh, just made here so online retail and this wholesale right this is our uh, target so let's stick with our target here okay so online retail and wholesale here let's stick with the target so let's have the online over here okay so then you can go for retail okay then you can go with the wholesale here okay right so three particular things okay so three particular things we have here so as per our plan okay as per our plan we can able to go for this one okay as per our plan we can able to go for this one okay just give an enter just give an enter okay so just give an enter and you can put a save here because now we have only the three distribution channels here okay so that's why so we are creating only three if you want have more so you can create a number of things there is no restriction at all here okay so don't worry about the restriction we don't have any restriction at all here okay so we have this name and all these things is done so now it is very simple we don't need to give any address or all sensing so this distribution channel is very simple thing here so now give us save okay just give us save over here okay just give us save and just give a continue here okay we got the tr right yes just give us save now you can able to see it was saved so now the distribution channel is also being created okay so now the distribution channel is also being created over here okay so now we are going for the next thing okay so let me mark this also it is completed okay so always mark it up so that will give some okay so so you can able to push it up easily and the next thing is the division we need to give it a division here we have two divisions we just planned one is a gear division and one is engine division we need to create that right so let's go for that so let's go for that so what is the that so we need to go back okay so we need to go back and go back and there we have division so already we know that division is available in the logistics general it is not here so we can go to that particular division part and execute okay you can see the division part here and execute and there you can see again the division option define it's very simple option here okay so go for this defined division here and there you can able to find okay again so there are the two digit codes here okay maximum and you can give the name of this division that's it that is nothing to have this one same like distribution channel okay so what are the divisions we plan for we just plan for only two divisions here one is a gear division and one is an engine division so let's create that okay very easily so go for this new entry okay click on this okay go for new entry okay so maybe i'll use the same name okay so maybe i can use same x1 and x2 so that will be easy so we can able to remember very easily okay so let me have this x1 here okay and we can put x2 here okay yes and i'll put the thing here what is the actual thing we have so one is gear and one is engine right so let me put a gear okay so division okay so here i will put okay so engine okay so division i'll put like that so this two divisions okay if you have more division you can create that okay just for our example we are just created as okay only these two divisions over here okay for an example we have just given this two divisions over here okay so with that we can able to move on okay just give a save okay so again you can see the same tr because until you change a tr so it will be showing the same option again and again okay so it will be showing the same option and again and again so based on that we can able to move on here okay just give us save okay so it is done okay so now the division also it is done here okay so the division part is also done over here so now what is the next thing is sales area we don't have the sales area over here so we know that okay the sales area is available only in the assignment part so only thing is is pending is we need the sales office and sales group to be done okay yes so we can do this one okay it's very simple let's do this one and we can go for the assignment later okay sales office go back 
go to the sales office there i think the sales office is directly available in the okay so in the sales and distribution okay go to the sales office here and just click on the execute okay and you can see this is a sales office option maximum four characters you can put so maximum four characters over here and you can able to find this okay and here you have to put the address okay because the sales office is a physical entity right it's a physical area so you need to put the address here so without putting an address we cannot be able to move on so you need to put the physical address here okay so let's decide okay so already we have this one so let me put the tata related things so we can put a new entry okay and put this one okay so maybe i'll put okay so tata and uh, okay delhi right i'll just put uh, okay tata um d1 okay i'll put like ta d1 so again okay i'll put tata okay d2 uh, actually we have only one thing right okay okay only one thing is available okay so one thing we can able to create so ta d1 and i'll just put this one okay so tata against okay so delhi i just put like that okay tata i'll put it like delhi Okay, and just give an enter. So automatically, it will ask you for the address because the sales office, it's a physical area, right? It's a physical place where it is located. So you need to put that. Okay, so just put that one and put. Okay, so Tata Group of Companies. Okay, so Delhi. Okay, so then you can put. Okay, so Tata. Okay, Delhi. I'll put that one. It is very easy for to search. And here, as usual. Give the numbers, okay. What is the actual, okay? Okay, let me put the Gandhi Street and put any pin code here, okay. And any, okay, so I'll put at Delhi and here, okay. So I'll put, uh, okay, so I'll put for the Delhi, yeah. Here, see, here I have a Delhi here, okay. Put the Delhi, okay. And okay, so you can put the postal codes and all these things okay and if you have any specific email id and phone numbers you can put that okay nothing wrong in that okay so maybe you have a okay data delhi at gmail.com if you have any specific things you can put or else don't put for the namesake okay always this will be helpful for something for the workflow okay so just give okay so now you can see okay so you are Okay, so now you can see okay so the second thing I just selected that's why it is asking for two times now you can see so this was created okay once it is done you can save this okay again you will get the same TR okay done now the sales office is done now we want to do the sales group here right so only one sales group is pending go for the sales group and here you can see okay so maximum three characters you can able to see this one so how many sales group we planned we plan for only two sales group delhi north and delhi south okay so let's do that one okay so let's go for the new entry and let's go for okay so data okay so delhi north right so i'll put uh, delhi north tdn and i'll put okay tata delhi south okay yes then i'll put this particular description over here okay so i'll put description okay so data okay so delhi okay north okay so same thing i'll just put it over here so tata okay so delhi okay south i'll just put like that and give an enter okay so here we don't need to give any address because the group is means for a persons okay how many persons what is the group of person or working for this okay that is what it mentioned as a sales group here okay once it is done just give a save so now what happened okay so your definitions are completed here so all our definitions are completed you can see as per the flow so all the definitions are created over here you can see all the definitions are done now we are ready with all the elements all the individual elements which we need everything has been created now so now only one thing is we need to connect all these elements one to one and we need to make that structure okay that is our target okay so that we can see on the next session we can do the assignment and how the integration okay how we are integrating with other modules okay other modules also we need to connect how that is happening what is the purpose also we can see okay we can see that right